Okay, uh, my presentation for today is on mental health and COVID-19 pandemic, uh, just presenting from the Malaysian perspective. And uh, due credit is given to my fellow researchers, uh, Dr. Chua, Dr. Bono, Dr. Sami, uh, Dr. Fitrana, Dr. Siao, uh, Dr. Chia, Dr. Lau, and Dr. Vina Raja. Uh, they are all my research team in this uh, project. Now, uh, let us now start the ball rolling. Uh, now, as you are aware, um, the pandemic has actually caused havoc, you, you know, uh, to every nation uh, in this country, uh, uh, in, in this world. And uh, Malaysia is also one of them. And the first three cases of COVID, you know, was found in, actually in, uh, at the beginning of the year, in January 2020. And uh, from 18 March on, onwards, we have our national movement order control. Uh, in some countries, it's called a lockdown. Uh, it's called a lockdown, but it's not as strict as a lockdown. Uh, this movement uh, control order, we call it MCO here in Malaysia, was implemented to prevent its spread. And uh, this MCO has also been extended uh, four times. Uh, we are still having this conditional, you know, CMO right now in the country, uh, but of course with some uh, leeway as well. Uh, this mandatory MCO is for, uh, you know, has actually affected one's mental health, uh, parenting practices, spouse relationship, and international violence. So this international online survey, we are part of an international online survey uh, that was initiated in Rwanda, University of Rwanda, and consists of 26 uh, active countries, and Malaysia is one of them. So we are just here presenting our Malaysian data to everyone. So what we look at is the psychological status, the parenting practices, relationship, boredom, international violence, and uh, well-being, uh, interpersonal violence, and uh, well-being of uh, 400, uh, 543 Malaysians. And by comparing their scores before and during the COVID-19 MCO. And so apart from the social demographic data uh, that we have collected, we have also, uh, you know, um, getting the participants to answer some of the standardized questionnaire, for instance, looking at boredom, uh, looking at loneliness, the, the Alabama parenting questionnaire, uh, parenting program, relationship quality index, and the uh, generalized anxiety disorder as well as the WHO well-being index. Now, the scoring is as such that the higher the score, the more bored, more lonely, more anxious, but less violence and a better relationship quality and a better well-being a person is. So the study has actually obtained uh, research ethics from the New Zealand Malaya Research uh, uh, Ethics Committee and uh, informed consent has also been obtained uh, from all the participants in this online survey. So uh, we have in total 543 participants, uh, majority are female and majority are aged between 18 to 24 years old. And uh, you know, about 34% have had a tertiary education. Uh, majority are also from the uh, uh, urban, uh, living in the urban areas, about 81% and uh, almost uh, slightly over half, 51% of them uh, are still single, you know, in terms of marital status. Now, uh, looking at the chart itself, you can see here, uh, so we measure well-being, relationship, violence, parenting, anxiety, boredom, and uh, loneliness. So in all these indicators, we found a significant difference. Now, uh, by the way, the blue are those uh, prior to the MCO and the orange color, it's during the MCO, during the lockdown. And you can see a significant difference uh, between uh, uh, before and during the uh, MCO uh, in terms of well-being, uh, in terms of anxiety, in terms of boredom, and in terms of uh, loneliness. So during uh, the MCO itself, during the lockdown itself, uh, they have a poorer well-being. They have significantly, uh, they were significantly more anxious, significantly more bored, and also significantly more, uh, more uh, lonely. So you can see all the mean scores, you know, are very different uh, before and after. However, relationship, violence, parenting practice did not show any significant difference uh, before and during the MCO. So how do we conclude from here? 
that the pandemic has actually impacted uh, overall well-being negatively and therefore learning how to cope with anxiety, boredom, loneliness, you know, are warranted and deemed important in dealing with this pandemic. With that, thank you. Over to you, Ashwini.